just win, baby, doesn't only apply to the Raiders. There is State Farm, for instance, which Yahoo! Com says pays Aaron $2 million to $3 million annually for its commercials. Even though a Wisconsin healthcare group announced this week it's dropping its nine-year association with Rogers, well, um, like a good neighbor, State Farm says it's still there for somebody its officials said in a statement to the USA Today has been a great ambassador for our company for much o. We don't support some of the statements that he has made, but we respect his right to have his own personal point of view. Just get us clients, baby. Now let's glance into the NFL crystal ball. After Rodgers missed the Packers' loss last week in Kansas City to the Chiefs due to his positive COVID-19 test, his 10-day quarantine will end Saturday. He'll get the thumbs up from the league's powers that be, and then he'll take the field Sunday at Lambeau Field in Green Bay against the Seattle Seahawks to deafening cheers among cheese heads. That noise will keep increasing throughout the game for the NFL's three-time most valuable player who Forbes ranks as the league's fourth highest paid player in total earnings at $33. 4 million. For one, with the Seahawks across the way, Rodgers will continue his solid season before the quarantine when he completed 67% of his passes, two percentage points above his career average, threw for 17 touchdowns against just three interceptions and continued his penchant for magic down the stretch. For another, Rodgers will beat Seattle. That's because the Packers always beat Seattle in Green Bay. Against the Seahawks, the Packers have won nine straight at home, 